What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Another episode of Trey Coles. I'm happy to see you. I hope you're happy to see me. This is, I believe, the first video that I'm recording since the new year. So forgive me for taking a little minute. I had to reorganize and get a little situated. You know what I'm saying? So just had to refocus a little bit. But uh, I've been doing development for quite some time now. Since 2014 was when I officially launched my very first app. And so I've been developing for like eight, nine years now. And so it's been a long time coming, but when I first started development, it was like bare minimum, just Xcode, Swift, or Android Studio and Java. It wasn't any of the bells and whistles with hybrid development, like Flutter and things like that. I think hybrid development might've been going on back then. I'm not 100% sure, but it wasn't so common as it is now. Like you hear hybrid development everywhere. And so, I thought it'd be a good idea to recap that very first application I made, all right? That app was, like I said, back in 2014, so it was very ancient. I can't even get it to run on the simulator on my computer, that's how old it is. So I'm gonna recap it, and we're gonna laugh together at the very first application that Trey Coles ever made. This was with Swift and Xcode. Like I said, it's, uh, it's something to laugh at. So we, we're gonna laugh together, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the very first application that I ever made with Swift and Xcode back in 2014, right now. All right, so we got the app. This is the app right here. I'm pretty sure you can see it, but you're gonna see it on the side of the video anyways. But, uh, so the app was called Triumphant Designs and in college, I was known for making like flyers and logos and illustrations and things like that on campus. And it did pretty good by word of mouth. You know, people would come up to me saying, hey, can you make this for me? Can you make this for me or whatever? And it was a pretty lucrative business, right? So I was like, let me go ahead and try to make an app because, you know, why not? I'm into programming. It'd be a good idea to make an app where people can request the same work just through the application. Now, I never had a single order through the app. That's the thing, like I just made the app, never got an order, but it was still cool just the fact that I made an application, right? So the app was called Triumph Design. So I'm just gonna run through it now and we can kind of laugh at it together. So this is essentially the home page. Uh, the funny thing is, is like these buttons weren't even like UI buttons in Swift. They were like images. So I took like a, a image of, I made like a button PNG says about me, a button PNG for flyers and logos, et cetera, and then just lined them up. So terrible design practice, but back then I was like, man, it looks cool. All right, so uh, we have the homepage, we have about me, and man, I look so young. This is when I was 22, this is before the locks and everything. And the about me page just says meet Trey. Uh, then I have, for some reason, I put the bio in like a scroll view like this when I should have just been scrolling the entire page. For some reason, I did this, but uh, just a little recap of me. My name is Trey Hope, a 22-year-old graphic designer, web developer, and most recently, most recently, a mobile application developer for both iOS and Android. Over the past few years, I have designed several flyers, logos, and illustrations for various individuals and organizations. With a passion for design and development, I take my art very seriously. And then just some more blurb about me. But yeah, this was a very terrible design for About Me page. So we're gonna go back. And if you notice, when you go back in the app, it creates a new page. It doesn't actually go back. So I'm gonna be clowning myself this whole app, so just bear with me. But when I hit back, a whole new page, the home page comes up as a new page. So I'm pretty sure like the stack, the navigation stack in this app was probably going to explode from all the navigation here because it just kept creating new pages. It never went back, actually. All right, let's click the flyers page. So as you can see, I was pretty decent with the flyer game. I'm not gonna lie, but some of the flyers that I had in here, uh, made a flyer for a yard sale. Uh, what else we got here? Flyer for a step show. So this was kind of like the example page to like show like, all right, the examples of work I did. I really snapped on this one. But yeah, I was making flyers, man. I was really, I was really out there. But yeah, so this is the flyer page. I think this was, pretty sure this was like a grid view that I used for this section. And it took me days, I was, it took me days to figure out how to do like a grid view in Swift. I was like, bro, this is, this is not working. I had the stuff, the images were too big or they were shifted over too much, but like I finally got it to look like square and, and grid-like on this page. So logos, same thing. 
my logo game wasn't really all that, I'm gonna be honest. But it was the same thing as far as like the Flyers page, just like a grid view. Had some of the logos here. Man, the spacing was off. Look, you see how distorted it gets? How it like gets stretched out when you go to view it? Some of them it does. But yeah, my, my logo game really wasn't all the way there, but hey, I did graphic design. I had Photoshop, I'm like, hey, come shop with me, who cares? All right, illustrations. So this was like the illustration page where I did just a bunch of random stuff, man. I was on some stuff, man. <laughs> Yay! All right, uh, made one for my homie P. So I would do like Adobe Illustrator and make like drawings of people and stuff like that. Or you got stuff like this that wasn't, <laughs> this wasn't even an illustration, but it was fun to make. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, I made like a black version of my uh, college mascot called him Vincent Viking. The original dude was white, he was named Victor. But you can see here that the Flyers logos, illustrations, they were all pretty much the same, just like a grid view type thing. But then the real part of the app was when you go to request, so you can actually submit the request. And as you can see here, I had a pop-up that said, for iPhone 4S and iPad users, be sure to swipe down the predictive text feature on the keypad when entering into text field. So essentially, I didn't care about what device you were on. I just sent a message saying, hey, if you're on a certain device, the text field might cover some of the input fields. So instead of making the app adapt to every device, I was like, hey, if you don't have this right device, you're gonna have to just make some adjustments. Uh, all right, so you put in your name, dang. So the text fields, they were highlighted uh, purple. That's a terrible highlight color, man. All right, we just gonna fill it in though. First name, Trey. Last name, Hope. Nine, three, seven, one, two, three. I can't give you all the real digits. Uh, and then email, all right. Next, the design info, what type of design do you want? So you can get illustrations for 30, flyers for 25, or logos for $20, man. We're gonna go with a flyer today. When do you need it complete? So I had this thing where if you said you needed it within like one day, like today's the 22nd, if I need it on the 23rd, there was a message that popped up said that'll be extra. A $15 charge would be added to the overall price if expecting the completion of a design within two days. So I was, I was really about that money, man. Ain't got not a single order. That's the crazy thing. All right, and then explain what you want on the design. Another bad design practice is this should have been like hint text to where as soon as you start typing, your input was in there, but you see that <laughs> I type in and it just gets added to explain what you want on the design page. So you had to delete the whole thing and then type in what you wanted. So I came a long way, man. There's a lot of bad practices back then. Uh, let's see, just a simple flyer with my name on it. All right, you hit next. And then this was like the overview page. I just had it in like a white box for some reason. But then, all right, so once you're done, you're actually ready to submit the request, you hit email request. And the funny thing is, instead of actually just like creating like uh, an API that would send an email directly once you hit send and then just return true or false based on the success, I instead, just opened up the default email on whatever device you're on and you have to finish sending it yourself. So it's like, it didn't send the email, it just prepared the email and then you gotta send it. So that's, that's funny, man. Look, the old email, hopet1 at mymail.nku.edu. Man, I'm just gonna delete this and return home. Are you sure? And then you can't hear it on here, but I had music that was playing when the app started. So it, it cycled between like four or five different songs, but you can turn the music on or off. And then of course, at the bottom, I had my social media outlets. So I don't even have this Instagram no more. That account, yeah, you can't even find it. And then if you didn't have the app downloaded, it says, sorry, you must download the app first. And yeah, that is essentially the Triumphant Designs mobile application. Yeah, that was a, I didn't came a long way. I'm gonna just say that. Like I said, that app was back in 2014. So as you can already tell, Trey Codes has came a very, 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 very long way, right? And that was before any of the, the cool native features of hybrid development. That was just bare bones, Swift and Xcode. But it was really fun making that. I remember used to, I used to be like on the job, like at my nine to five. And on my lunch break, I'll be working on that app and then go right back to work. So it was good times, you know what I'm saying? But I also wanted to, since we talked about the app I very first made, I also wanted to briefly show you an app that I'm currently working on right now, okay? Now this one is in Flutter and I'm still trying to figure out a name for it, but 
is essentially an app where you can kind of share thoughts between you and a partner. You answer questions daily, right? Three questions daily. And based on their responses, the other user can tell when you submitted new answers as well as, as well as when you've read their answers. So an app that's supposedly going to help with communication a little bit better because I know in the past I've had communication issues with some of the people that I've dealt with. So we're gonna see how this app works. Let's jump into it. All right, so this is the app right here. Uh, the app is called Questions, as you can see. I'm still working on like a better name for it, so don't get caught up on the verbiage. But like I said, it's called Questions because there's a room, two users. User A answers questions, three questions for the day. Both users answers three questions for the day. But user A answers first. User B gets notified that user A answered those questions. Then once user B reads those answers, user A gets notified that user B read their answers. So the premise is, it's three questions daily that both of you can kind of, you know, kind of just better your communication because the question might be something like, uh, what is something interesting that you did today? So instead of directly asking that person every day, what is something interesting you did? You can just answer in the app and it makes it a little easier. So, all right, this is the home page or not the home page, the login page. This is actually a Flutter package that I'm using called Flutter Login. It builds the entire UI for you for login. So all you have to do is be responsible for what you do when you capture the data. So for when you log in, you'll need to create some type of API to actually log your user in or when you sign up, you want to add them to like an authentication database using Firebase or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Google and specify this account up here. All right, so now I'm logged in. This is the home page. Uh, this lets me know it's a very bare dashboard right now, but right now this is where it shows like when I joined, which was six minutes ago, the rooms that I'm in, my total feelings. A feeling is essentially when you answer three questions for the day, that's one feeling. And then the invites are the invites that you get because you have to invite another person to work with. All right, so we're going to go to rooms right now. Right now I'm in a room with uh, this test user. And this is like the calendar view of all of my feelings throughout the day or throughout the year. So right now I don't, I don't have any feelings or questions. I'm still trying to figure out the, the verbiage for that. But so first question, how does your heart feel? Um, I'm gonna say my heart feels amazing. All right, how does your mind feel? My mind is all over the place, but I'm good. And then how does your soul feel? My soul feels at peace with everything. All right. So then you submit that feeling for the for the day. And then it says, great, we notified the other user. Come back tomorrow to submit another. That was a confetti package, by the way. Flutter really kind of takes care of everything that you need. Whatever you think you need, there's a Flutter package for it. All right. So now that there's this feeling on the board, as you can see, I submitted this at 317. My partner now, which is test at test.com, he would then come in and read my feeling for today. And he can kind of, you know, get an understanding of like where I'm at right now, like my mental or how my heart, how's my mind, how's my soul. From there, he'll hit, I understand. And then once he reads that, I would then get notified that, hey, test at test.com, just read your feelings. So that's essentially how the app works. Like I said, you can edit the questions up here if you want to change them to something else. Um, the invites page is where you will go to accept invites or send invites. And then I have the settings page right here for like dark mode. Really right now, the light and dark mode is the only thing that's changing on the app. But yeah, that is a, uh, see, profile page. You can change your picture and username. But that's essentially how the app works. Now I'm using Flutter, obviously, to build the app. But I'm using GraphQL, MongoDB, Heroku, and Apollo server to build the backend. So I actually did another video related to how you can set all that up. So be sure to check that out as well. But I'm essentially using those four components to build the back end. And so far it's been very swift and easy to use and easy to set up, easy to scale and manage and everything like that. So that's essentially the uh, questions or fields app, still working on the name, but that's the app that I'm currently working on right now. I'm trying to get it into the app store. I'm having some issues with design aspects right now, but be sure to check that out once it hits the market within the next couple months. So like I said, the first app was made in 2014. This app currently that I just showed is what I'm working on right now. And there is a huge stark difference between both of these applications from the UI to the functionality to the look and feel, everything just completely different. So I say that to say for all my developers that are trying to get into it or you've been doing it for a while and feeling like your apps aren't up to par, just understand that it takes time, practice, dedication, 
all these things to make apps actually flourish in the long run, okay? You, the apps you start out making are not gonna be the app that you make 10 years from now, or at least they shouldn't be, all right? So just use this video as motivation for progress and keep working hard. As always, if this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments any apps that you worked on. I would love to see some of your early work as well and any apps that you're currently working on. I would love to see those too. So until next time, I'm gonna talk to you later. This is Trey Code signing off.